Hi, today I'm reviewing the Mishet Time Revolution, the first essence five times, the fifth version <laughs> of it. Uh, and really quick, I just want to say, purchase these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, show my Patreon community, or click on the link below. Okay, so Misha came out with their fifth version of some of their products, their essence included, as well as their um, Time Revolution Serum Ampule, which I'll also review. But um, fifth version version this is crazy i'm trying to remember this one the first treatment essence was this their very first one anyway so i picked it up because i thought it'd be kind of similar to this so i thought i would do a review and kind of a update on what's changed so okay misha's fifth generation essence formulated with 97 percent extreme sicka yeast ferment that efficiently delivers dense moisture to the skin helps maintain skin balance and offers basic strength care Ingredients are fermented in a special three temperature fermentation process in extreme cold and then warm temperatures for denser absorption. Clinically proven to improve tone, texture, and moisture within 14 days of use. It almost sounds like how they make scotch or whiskey. You've got it fermented in extreme cold, then warm. What's the difference between extreme cold and warm? I don't know. Whatever. What is extreme temperature? When cold or whatever. Anyway. I will mention right off the bat, I'm not super thrilled with the latest version. So, okay, my first criteria is packaging. Uh, packaging is very similar. Although I do hate when brands do this like fake silver plastic because eventually the more you use it, it starts to flake off and then you look at your face and you have little flakes of glitter. Not all brands, but some brands have that issue. So no issues with the packaging. Uh, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. It's also fragrance free so that's always a good thing although a lot of mission products are not fragrance free this is manufacturing location is korea uh easy should I, i'll do a quick ph test just in case anybody's curious i wish all brands would just put the ph of every product on the bottle but they don't so might as well do a quick ph test okay so let's see where we get so the ph of this one looks to be 5.5 which is about where you would expect. So ease of use, so they recommend after cleansing, you can either pour it on a cotton pad or pat it on with your hands. I will say this version, I liked patting it on my hands. This version, the first couple weeks, I just pat it on my skin. The second couple weeks of using it, I used a cotton pad. I prefer using it with a cotton pad because it is just, this one is a little bit more liquidy. It's just super liquidy compared to some of the other toners I've used. Um, it is so much more watery. So there you go. Um, so no real issues with ease of use. Although I will say a couple of times, the first few times I used this, it stung a little bit. I have no idea why. Look through the ingredients. There's no red flag for me. After the first couple of times I used it, the stinging stopped. So easy to use. Okay, let's talk about the ingredients. So I will say the ingredients on Yes Style are for the old version. So don't look there. Um, the ingredients on the box are different than the ones on Yes Style. So for the new version, water and glycerin are the first two ingredients, whereas with their older formulas, the ferments were first. So it's a little bit of a bummer to see water very first and then glycerin, two non-exciting ingredients, be the first two, whereas in the older formulas, you got the ferments, the good stuff, the things you want up front. So I'm very disappointed in that. I'm not sure why they did that, but that's what we've done. Okay, so we've got water glycerin, then we've got niacinamide, anti-acne, skin brightening, skin barrier repair. Then we've got yeast and yeast extract, which is now the fifth ingredient, um, which is a bummer. It's the fifth ingredient. It's far down the ingredient list. Um, it's a good skin conditioning ingredient. Then we've got bifida ferment, which is a good probiotic ingredient. Uh, some people have found it helps with skin sensitivity and barrier repair, and it might even help with UV protection according to some studies. Then we've got sodium PCA, which is a skin identical ingredient. We've got adenosine, which is a cell communicating ingredient. We've got a ceramide, which is a hydrate ingredient, and then hydrogenated lecithin, which is another hydrate ingredient. So to be honest, I mean, it's a decent ingredient list. We've got a couple of ferments. We've got couple skin identical ingredients and then we've got niacinamide 
but the older version is just better. I don't have my nose itches. What does it mean when your nose itches? Somebody's talking about Uh-oh. You. That's not good. Okay. Overall, it's still a decent ingredient list, but it's just not as good as the old version. So if you buy the old version, maybe it's worth doing that. Um, okay, in terms of animal testing, the Mischa brand is not cruelty-free. They're owned by more Pacific. They're not cruelty-free, so whatever. Hopefully that will change. Okay, in terms of performance, this toner used to be a really nice product, a good alternative to some more expensive products, and a really nice addition to skin care routines. I have found they have made this toner a really amazing product to just kind of average. Not really exciting. There's a lot of other ones that are more affordable, that are better. Uh, it's kind of disappointing. I was disappointed, to be honest. I, I, I thought, you know, it's their fifth generation. They're going to do something to really make it much better. And instead, they water, they literally watered it down, which is disappointing. Um, it still works as a decent toner. Probably better used with a cotton pad. And then you can use it to remove any makeup or sunscreen that's left over after cleansing. But not one of my favorites anymore. Um, in terms of acneogenic ingredients, that's the one good thing there. Nothing of to note for that. In terms of the price, so this is a full size, which is 150 milliliters. I've been using this for about six weeks now. I barely put a dent in the bottle, which is kind of a bummer because I actually want to finish it so I can move on to something else. Um, 40 bucks, uh, 150 milliliters, uh, 3.5 ounces, retails for about $40. Uh, makes it pretty pricey compared to a lot of other toners, which are better. This is sad. Uh, so get it on sale if you want to try it. Don't spend it $40 on it because it'll be on sale somewhere. Or pick up the old version if you can still get it. So I, I found it to be pricey. Um, in terms of the it factor, I was just really let down by this. And, you know, their ampule, Time Revolution ampule, I was also kind of let down by that reformulation too. So I don't know. I wish they would have, I don't know, just stuck with their old formula maybe or just jazzed it up a little bit instead of just really watering it down. It's, uh, I mean, it's not a bad product. Overall, it's still a decent product, but it's just not as good. So maybe if this didn't even exist, um, I could judge and say, hey, it's a decent toner. But when I know they have the capability to make something great and they didn't, it's just a letdown all the way around. So anyway... With a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 7. It's average. C, 70%, 7 out of 10, it's a C. It is average. That is the best explanation for it. So anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you had a chance to try it yet or what your thoughts are. So definitely leave a comment. Or if you have a favorite FTE, facial treatment essence, uh, leave a comment with what it is. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.